So this is the vlog I've been meaning to put up for a while. Probably a few months now, it's getting by. Um, yeah, we're in April, the year's going fast. Where's it going? So before Christmas, I went to see the amazing John Barrowman um, on his um, Christmas tour, which was awesome. It was an amazing show, made more special by the fact I got to go up on stage with John Barrowman to sing Jingle Bells, which I never thought was gonna happen in my life. And I was totally not expecting it. So, clarification on the story. There I am with my grandma, enjoying this amazing concert. We are laughing, we are being entertained by John. Um, He's telling jokes and it's what he does in his shows. He's great because he mixes his songs with family stories. So he's telling all these stories in between his songs. So I am loving it. I am being entertained by his amazing voice and his performance as a singer. And then all the stories that he's telling as well. And then it is in the second half of the show, after the interval, where his mum and dad come on stage. So I'm cracking up now. Like, yes, yes it's gonna get even funnier because his mom and dad have got microphones, they're telling stories. His husband, Scott, is in on stage with him. So I think, oh, they're gonna do like, um, they almost perform at Christmas and do like a Christmas song. So I'm expecting them to perform a Christmas song together because I know his mom's got an amazing voice. And then he says, and now this is the part in the show where we get someone from the audience. And now this is the part in the shows where I kind of go, oh, great, because, one, it's never me, and two, you know, it's not, it's taken away from the show a bit, and I'm there, because I want to watch John Brown and his family perform. Well, all of a sudden, my seat number comes up on this big screen, and the next thing I know, I'm up on stage with John Barrowman. I'm looking in the eyes of Captain Jack Hartness, in the eyes of John Barrowman, and I was like, oh my God, wow. Jeez, what is going on? And he starts asking me these questions. And in the video that I'm gonna show you, you'll probably see that I just, I'm so blown back. And I'm just, the fact that John Barham is asking me questions is crazy. The fact I'm just up on stage with him is crazy. So my mind is just going, I'm not even really thinking. It was all a blur and it kind of still is in a way now to this day. And it was amazing. And then all of a sudden he asked me, can I sing? And I thought, um, so I obviously, I'm kind of a singer, but I didn't kind of want to give that away. I was like, um, I kind of. And then the next thing I know, I'm singing Jingle Bells. Then he joins me at the end of one of these and we kind of sing together, as you'll see in the video. And it was amazing. It was an incredible dream come true. And the fact as well that my grandma got to see it, that she got to see me up on stage with John Barrowman, was amazing, because I know, one, she likes to see me on stage, two, she loves John Barrowman just as much as I do, so to see us again on stage, that was just a dream come true. It was always one of my dreams to perform with John Barrowman and for my grandma to see it, so that was amazing. Um, so she was loving it. She still tells the story now, um, and I think to everybody, she tells this story too. So I don't know why I'm making this vlog, because she could just tell you, but no, she loved it, and that was amazing, and I had, the amazing, I think it was five minutes, I think all together, four, four or five minutes. Amazing. Um, so yeah, and then ever since, like people that have seen me, saw me at that night, who come into the theater where I work, have like commented on me saying it. So many people have seen it and said how good it was. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the video on this so you guys can watch it if you want. You're probably not interested, I don't know, but yeah. Um, but the thing as well, that I need to kind of clarify as well, it was a surprise and I was picked at random. People think it was a fix. I thought at one point it was a fix. I thought because my mom had booked the tickets um, that she fixed this up. So I rang my mom after the show and um, she didn't know anything about it. She was just as surprised as I was um, so was my sister, so no one had planned this. This was an act of fate, and I couldn't believe it. And I still can't believe it to this day, how lucky I was. And I just want to thank John for, you know, and the family for looking after me up on that stage, and it was amazing. I mean, 
to the crowd as well that were amazing as well because they were you know obviously enjoying it as well um it was i mean that was the weird thing like there was a thousand people in the audience that night more than that and i wasn't nervous i was just enjoying myself and just baffled that i got to meet one of my idols one of my heroes you know and they say that you know don't meet the people that you look up to or your heroes but my god i'm glad i got to meet him because he lived up to it and more, you know. Um, and I got a massive bottle of apple spritz as well at the end of it, which I've still not opened yet. Um, I'm still waiting to have a party, but at the minute, these times are calling that we can't have many parties at the minute. Uh, but no, it was an amazing experience and I loved it so much. And it's something that's going to stick with me forever. And I always try and remember it when I need to put a smile on my face. So, Mr. Barabin, if you're watching, Thank you so much. Um, my grandma still loves you, still talking about it. So thank you again for making my dreams come true and singing with you. And here's the video. Have fun. Enjoy. Let me take a buzz, everybody, and I'll start it. And then uh, we'll all sing together. Uh, but the balcony up here, there's a bit where it goes, uh, hey, right? Do you know where I'm talking about? Okay, four people do. Great. <laughs> Let's just practice that with the balcony here and the ones up there, the few people that are up there. Ready? One, two, three. Hey! That was okay, but this side and that side are dead. <laughs> you ready? One, two, three. Hey! Brilliant. Now down here you'll be singing this song and when it gets to the bit, ha, ha, ha. Ha ha ha! Ready? One, two, three! Ha ha ha! If you do it like that, you will be the best audience yet. <laughs> right? Ha ha ha! I'm gonna start you off, okay? Where do you wanna start? Okay, do you know it? Say some seven, eight! Dashing through the snow in a lot of sleeping sleep. And I'll start it, and then uh, we'll all sing together. Uh, but the balcony up here, there's a bit where it goes, uh, hey, right? Do you know where I'm talking about? Okay, four people do. Great. <laughs> Let's just practice that with the balcony here and the ones up there, the few people that are up there. Ready? One, two, three. Hey! That was okay, but this side and that side are dead. <laughs> you ready? One, two, three. Hey! Now down here you'll be singing this song and when it gets to the bit, ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ready? One, two, three! Ha ha ha! If you do it like that, you will be the best audience yet. <laughs> right? Ha ha ha! I'm gonna start you off, okay? Want to start? Okay, do you know it? Say some seven, eight. Dashing through the snow in a lot of slippery sleigh. Laughing all the way up. Some hot tail swing to make his spirits bright. What the hell is the matter? Say tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh.
cut. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> So if you enjoy yourself, Aperol spritz, not just for the summer, put a little cinnamon stick in it and spice up your Christmas. <laughs> and I'm sure you know some cinnamon sticks in Sheffield. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.